Hey, how's it, Ohana? Welcome back. So, as you can tell, I'm in my uniform right now. So, I'm due for, uh, to get out in a uh, couple of months. So, I'm transitioning out. Um, this is mainly for veterans that's out there, right? Whether you've been there for a couple of months or 20 years, this, my goal is try to help you out with this video. Okay, so I'm going to tell you about the opportunities available for you and what you can do here on and off duty so regardless of what branch you are there are a lot of service members here so um there's two sourcing of um, revenue here for the state mainly of course um they get the tourist and then secondly the military so um i will give you the do's and don'ts once you get on island and what you can do here as a service member so with that being said, I'm gonna go change out real quick and I'll be right back. Whew, okay. So welcome back. So to get back to what I was talking about, uh, there's so many benefits coming here. Uh, as a military person, if you don't even have to be in the military, a dependent, or you could be a, uh, someone that knows someone in the military, right? Come in here. One of the biggest benefits is out here is hotel, right? If you go to Waikiki, it's gonna cost maybe around four fifty five hundred dollars off peak is how much it's gonna cost right per night to stay in a room okay of course there's the airbnb options and, and whatnot so there's a lot of options out there but the biggest benefit that i actually first once i ever first one i ever to, did when i got here was book at halikoa halikoa hotel you know first off halikoa translate to you know hale being a house koa being a warrior so a house of a warrior so it's pretty fitting for for uh, to be a military hotel, right? It makes sense. So um, definitely a good place to say it's right next to um, to Hilton White Hilton Village in Waikiki. So it's it's about a good maybe five minute walk uh, from the strip, but it's so worth it. Uh, it it's just like a regular hotel, like um, over at uh, Hilton, and um, like I said, you get all the benefits. Plus, they got Barefoot Bar. Barefoot Bar is Pretty much, it's right next to the beach in Waikiki, so you could go, you know, consume some some uh, alcoholic beverage of your choice, and after that, you go ahead, just cross the sand over to the water. It's perfect. It's great. It's pristine. Like I said, the water is nice and warm here year round. Um, there's not a day here that you should not go in the water because it's, it's always warm, right? Um, that's the, definitely the biggest benefit. The second one is they got MW, MWR or ITT offices so you can go to. So whatever attraction there is that you want to go to do in Waikiki, um, you, you could get it at a cheaper price going through uh, ITR. Uh, like, for example, um, if I want to say go to, um, go to what's a big famous thing here? You could go to, geez, so many stuff to do. Hotel rates, you can get them there cheaper, right? A lot of attractions are cheap when you're in the military. Um, one of the biggest thing is uh, access to Pearl Harbor, right? You can get tickets way cheaper um, going through um, the ITR office. You know, it's um, actually, in, it's on a case-by-case -case basis if you want to go to... Um, up or I guess first come first serve basis when you want to go to let's say the Pearl Harbor right um it used to be where you walk in there you want to first I don't know so many people to get a ticket just to go into Arizona okay because it's free right and it's very historic you get to see the Arizona as it lays um it's case by case base I mean person uh, first come first serve basis like I said but the problem with that is that Recently, there's been um, a lot of vendors that's coming in and sending people to go in line for them. So, in turns, they go ahead and uh, turn around and sell it like scalping tickets. I mean, you're scalping tickets for a free attraction that all these people want to benefit from, but instead you try to make money out of it. It's just so wrong in so many places. So if you're over, over here and they're saying they got Arizona Memorial tickets that remind you it might be stolen or it might be sculpted, right? It's it's supposed to be free. It's part of the national, um, national parks. And um, yeah, you, sh you shouldn't pay money for that. Another thing, if you do have a military ID, you could go across the, the bridge, 
from Pearl Harbor to drive over to Ford Island. Ford Island is one of the, uh, I guess, parts of it that's actually hit by the Japanese during um, the Pearl Harbor attack. If you drive across there and you take a, the turn about three quarters of a way around and you make a left at next street over, you will ponder upon the, um, the great Mighty Mo or the USS Missouri, right? And of course, right before you get to Mighty Mo, you're going to see the USS Oklahoma Memorial on the left side. And um, they got different um, um, stalls or different... Um, like poles, each pole represent, pole represent um, a service member that got killed during the attack on Pearl Harbor. Okay, and you're going to see the a couple of Medal of Honor recipients on there. And then once you pass that, U.S. Oklahoma, mind you, you know, this is, just, this is a memorial, right? People had died in this area, this spots and all that. So they kind of want to keep it down in there. So try to be a little respectful and don't be yelling and whatnot and just just keep it quiet basically especially if you're on the on the Arizona on the USS Arizona Memorial right right below you there's still some bodies that's not recovered in there so please be respectful um once you get in the mighty Missouri you get on top there is a fee in there it's, it's minimal uh compared to the other attractions you get to do in a in a in Oahu or Waikiki or in in um, in Hawaii in general, um, it's definitely a lot cheaper. So once you get in there, you get to explore the whole sh well, most of the ships because some of them are engineering spaces that no one's really allowed to go to. Okay, mind you, once you're settled in here, you can always volunteer to work at the USS Missouri, maybe for a day and all that, and it benefits you into. Uh, Besides self satisfaction that you're doing something, uh, you're volunteering your time to some for for a good cause. Um, when you volunteer, I volunteered over there about five times, and I, that's like five days, right? And of course, that qualifies you to your MOVSM or the Meritorious um, Volunteer Medal. Basically, I just don't remember. It's not right. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, it goes towards that, and I believe right now it's like 500 something hours that you gotta do. Well, you know, when I first got here, it's like 60. Then I guess they it was going out, giving out like candy and whatnot. So they say, you know what, we need to 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 jack it up to 500 something. I once again, I don't remember on top of my head the exact count, but it's over 500 hours, right? It's nothing if you're gonna put, you know, if volunteering is really you, it's just an added benefits benefit to it besides the self-satisfaction like I said okay so you get to explore the whole ship um, and then once you get done with that you could go back down to the parking lot and f drive further down um, the street you made a, a left from and you're gonna see the the air museum the aviation mu museum in there right so before you even go in there go ahead and drive around the hangar the, the first hangar that you, you go across, right? Drive around there and look at the glass part of the hangar. Those are actual bullet holes that were shot by the Zeros, um, to, uh, you know, during the, the attack, right? You're gonna see bullet holes on there. They never touched it. That's good. It's historical um, thing to do, uh, to, to just keep it in there, okay? And majority of the hangars over in in um, Fort Island outside they're required to maintain it the way it was for historic value but inside there pretty much to put other buildings and it's like building within the building to uh, just to preserve the historic uh, part of it okay but mind you they got like HP Howard uh, Hewitt Packard in there and they are occupying inside the building okay but once you go around to um, around the two hangars, it's a, they're actually in two hangars. This place are situated in two hangars. First one, it's a walkthrough. They're both walkthroughs, but the first one got more like uh, displays and you know, like history facts and whatnot. That's inside there. They explain how where the Japanese came from and what area they hit in and around Oahu. Um, and then you're gonna see there's one in there. 
it says a Japanese plane crashed into the other island and uh, pretty much one of the locals in there like provided a safe harbor for them and and um, and that that person eventually got in trouble and some some stuff like that I just don't recall that information right now okay and then if you go to the second hangar which is about a hundred maybe less than a hundred yards to the other side you're gonna see a lot of static displays um, they got the f-14 they got an f-18 uh, fa-18 that's on there and they got different helicopters they got uh well navy in army we call it black hawk the navy calls it the hawk. they got it on display over there they got couple of other ones it's pretty interesting and you know some of them when I went there last they, they actually let you get on it and take you know it's photo op right and I would like to say that it is all donation based I could be wrong on that but if like, once again you know low cost attractions that you could go to okay the, um, then then also, I forgot over in uh, next to Halikoa, there's an army museum in there. The army museum is totally free. They do take donations, right, to to for upkeeps, you know, uh, maintaining the premises and whatnot. It's right next to the Halikoa, like I said. Um, they got all the history in regards to the attack on Pearl Harbor in there. Anything that involved the military and Hawaii together, it all in there. They got a medal. Of on a room upstairs um they got a black i forgot which one i think it's a cobra helicopter that's on the roof and you could walk around of it around it and um yeah it's, it's it's not bad at all like i said there's a lot of attraction if you're here's your buff you're gonna love pro harbor because everything's here right um also i want to I forgot to say that you know everywhere you go around here they got they, they provide two discounts right once come on a discount uh, in order to qualify for come on a discount you gotta have um, like a Hawaii state license or or ID card and the second one's military discount military discount applies to everyone that got a military ID uh, whether it's active duty uh, reserves National Guard retirees or dependents actually dependents also and um, and you can benefit. They they usually get like 10, 10 to fifteen percent off your purchase. Um, and lastly, right? They say, "Oh, it's high cost of living here in Hawaii. It's hard to live." No, it's not really, right? If you look at it this way, uh, like I said, we're settling here. I'm retiring from the army, and what they, if you shop at the commissary, there's a lot of military bases on the island, right? You're never gonna run out of military. Uh, um, base here um, they have uh, they got this thing they call the NEX NEX over in um, in I'd like uh, Pearl Harbor Hickam across the freeway uh, they got a NEX here I, I, and it's like a mall in there so whatever you want to get they have it in there it's the it's one of the bigger ones that actually has elevators and escalators to get into and it's it's like I say, you get to shop there and tax free and whatnot, and uh, they may charge. Uh, correct me on this, please, guys. Go and comment below if I'm wrong. But they do have service charge in there, I believe. Okay, but whatever it is, is still less than the the tax here in the state, which is already low. The state, the Hawaii state state tax is around four something percent, four point three percent, I believe, right? And um. It's uh, it's really cheap, and they got everything there. I get my 511 gear from there, um, all the time, like really cheap. Wow, and um, they they got uh, they got a food court upstairs. Name the food that you want. They pretty much got it there. Anywhere from sushi, um, to Indian food, to American food, Taco Bell, uh, McDonald's. They got it all upstairs. So it, it's 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 not bad at all. Like I said, um. And uh, they also got, if you walk around there, around the NEX, right outside, there's an ITR office or NWR office so you could rent stuff from. Okay? And as usual, you know, each military base got their own MWR facility. So they got one here where you could actually rent um, scuba gear and dive gear in Schofield. I know that for a fact. I became a dive master going through the program they offered over in uh, Schofield Barracks. Um, 
yeah, overall, I, I think being stationed here, you are lucky to be stationed here. I don't know how little percent it is being in the Army and getting stationed in, in Hawaii, but it's, it, it's very nice here. A lot of people get seasick. I understand that. Oh, I'm sorry. I, uh, island sickness, right? And I understand that being away from home and all that, and you can't go anywhere unless you fly out and all that. Yes, I do see that. But mind you, if you get stationed in Hawaii, expect to get a lot more relatives and friends to come visit you for the mere fact that you live in Hawaii, right? Free lodging, right? They got free tour guide because once you get stationed here, you're going to know all the good spots. And they, um, and yeah, it, it's really nice here, guys. It's very beneficial. Beneficial. You will enjoy it here. It's it's amazing here, right? Like I said, I moved here six years six years ago, and I'm gonna stay here. There's no way I'm moving out of here. You know, I'm I turned down a good six figure job just to stay here. Okay. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Go ahead and leave a comment below, and I will respond as soon as I can. Um, by the way, I got a whopping two subscribers like to date, right? Woo, whopping two, right? So if you do. Uh, if you do like this channel and like I said I'm gonna keep updating this uh, not just for military this goes for all all the way around um, I'll be talking about hotels uh, you could stay at um, good attractions you could go to uh, restaurants to eat I, I do recommend a lot of good restaurants here anywhere from 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 like fine dining down to just a little hey I'm hungry let's go get some sushi that type of deal okay uh like i said uh comment on any questions below and please click subscribe thank you and have yourself a good day mahalo